I've been meaning to make a video for quite a long time. Just lazy and forgetful. Also, this video, I'm 75% sure, will contain spoilers. I'm gonna do this in a really fucked up order. Anyway, Planet Terror. Universally caused a rating, strike by Robert Rodriguez. I watched it on Film 4. Rose McGarren, Quentin Tarantino, Rod Freddy Rodriguez, Bruce Willis, Josh Brolin, and Avian Andrews. I don't think Danny Trejo is in it. At least I'm pretty sure he's not. Excuse me. I'm hitting that with my thumbnail. I shouldn't do that. Eh, pretty good. I like the way that it had like that film green style to it, and then like during that lead up to the sex scene, as soon as I have sex, the film just like erodes. I thought that was really, really nice. Here's the spoilery part. So, Mullerhood, universally negative rating, so I watch it in the cinema. Ed Sheeran. Peter Serafinowicz, if I had to pronounce that right, and Jeremy Corbyn. Ed Sheeran is the only funny thing about it. Like, when I seen the trailer, which I, I only seen it last Friday, like, when I went to see uh, Blackberry, that's when I first heard of this, and then I seen it the following Friday, so, you know, two days ago. That's why I'm recording this. And the trailer seemed like it would, it would be like strays in the, in the fact that it's like most of it's shit, but it does have its moments that it makes it a 7 out of 10. But this, it's a 6. And that's being generous. It's only a 6 because of Edge here. And Edge here is the only consistently funny thing about it. And it's only because he has like two scenes. Whereas everyone else, apart from Jeremy Corbyn, has more screen time. And Jeremy Corbyn, he seemed fine in the trailer, but his entire thing was, oh, uh, these, these people are only gangsters because the Tories forced them into it. Really? It was the Tories, so there was no crime under Labour? Anyway. Once in universally positive ratings, I watched all great movies. Tom Hardy. It's, it's pretty good. I didn't know this is where the shut the fuck up you can't sound effect comes from. Uh, also, I did not want to see Tom Hardy's dick. Like, I mean, I, I think you might have seen it in... In Band of Brothers, I don't remember, but just you know, I I didn't want to see that. <laughs> like, wait, well, most times when there's male nudity, like when you see someone's dick in a show or a film, it's it's either for a very short amount of time, or it's obscured, whether it be from it being far away, or it's blurry, or it's dark. This is the first time where it's somewhat, at least I, from things that I've seen, where it's somewhat close. The lighting is good, and it's not blurry. So, you know, that made it even worse. But other than that, it, it was enjoyable. Uh, just a couple things I wanted to mention. My Twitter account has been banned, or at least suspended. Because I I was in a, a Teams call for work on Thursday. And they were talking about how uh, employers might, like, look you up. So, you know, go on to social media, say Instagram, look up Dylan Hamilton. You know, they'll find, they'll find my Instagram. And through my Instagram, they'll find my YouTube, my second Instagram, and my Twitter. So I set both, I, I don't like setting my, my shit to private, but I did set both my Instagrams to private. Uh, I can't set my YouTube to private because there is no private mode on YouTube. Um, and I was going to do it on Twitter. 
on a while on Twitter. It's my first time being on Twitter in a while. Other than looking at, like, there was shit that he was meant to but I'd rather not get into that. <clears throat> um, you know, first time on in a while. Uh, so I looked at my page, and I, like, I changed my bio, because I had some shit in my bio, and on everything that I, had, I wanted to get rid of. Um, changed my bio, and I was like, oh, I, I, that was my birthday, is like, 1987, because I, I started my Twitter account when I was 12, and you need to be, I think, at least 13 to have a Twitter account, so I, I just said it, it's 1987, so I went to change it back. And as soon as I hit like save, they locked me out of Twitter because like uh, they said you know oh, it might have been a mistake that I accidentally you know changed it to the wrong year. It's like uh to to change this uh click this link. So you click onto it, it brings you to the internet, just the web page for Twitter, and it uh, it says log in. So I, I do log in, and it's like your account's been banned. If you want to get it unbanned, go to this link. So I'll go to the link, and it just puts me back to where I was. You know where it's like you're not logged in, log in. So you log back in. And it says you, you've been banned and just fucking infinite cycle. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, I, I, I mean, I can't get it back. I had to get an email a couple of days later saying that I can get it back. But I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that the employers don't go back to. Uh, I, I'm thinking of a very particular tweet that I put out fucking years ago. That was not good. And I will not elaborate any further. I finished season 6 of Black Mirror. Today I was going to do an FR. But I think Charlie Brooker has hinted that there might be a season 7. <coughs> so no FR until it's officially cancelled. So I, the, the FR was basically just going to be me talking about season 6. Because you know I've. I made a video about every episode before that, almost every episode. So, uh, episode one, Jonah's Awful. Great episode. Even though it seems like Netflix saying that Netflix is bad. <laughs> episode two was also good, but at the time, I, I seen the first two episodes when they aired. Or somewhere around that time. And then I watched the last three today. Um, but from what I remember, episode two was good. Well, Henry was good, but it didn't have any. It wasn't a Black Mirror episode. But then I was thinking about it today, and I thought maybe you could say that it's like you know the fact that they they sort of sacrificed themselves almost to make their film. Something like that. <clears throat> um, episode three was kind of like, kind of like Blade Runner. You know, should we consider these robots human? Uh, like if if Iron Paul is controlling the robot Iron Paul and he fucks his wife, is 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 his wife cheating? I I know that's technically not what the theme of the episode is, but I I was thinking that. Uh, so just, our robots human, basically. Uh, episode 4, when it was revealed that she, that Maisie Day is a werewolf, I was like, what the fuck, this is, this is shit. And then I thought, like, after they're, like, still taking pictures, after she turned into a werewolf, I was like, oh, ah, uh, okay. Like they're it's it's kind of like like fucking Resident Evil and shit like that like even Planet Terror like you know risk their own lives for profit destroy the world for a fucking profit 
um, on episode five. Yeah, I, I really liked episode five. Except for the fact that there's no Black Mirror themes in it. Like, I looked up what the themes are. When I watched it, I was thinking maybe it's like, fuck the Tories. Because, so, this guy, he's a Tory, but then he kick, gets kicked out. He starts his own party. Uh, that party becomes popular. He becomes PM. And the world's fucked because of it. Um, but... That wasn't... It was too too minor to for that to be the real theme so I googled what it was and they actually said that there was like basically two themes one uh, non-white people are they are oppressed and that oppression is leading to violence Um. And basically, fuck the Tories. <laughs> yeah, fuck the Tories, but not the reason you're thinking. Oh, they, these people, they hate it. The, the Tories hate immigrants. They're, they're going to kill them all. Who do you think is letting the fucking immigrants in? I mean, sure, in 1979, it wasn't the Tories doing it. But this was written in, like, say, 2021, 2022. At least in 2023. Where the Tories have been doing it. For 10 fucking years at least. Um, and just. The ending. Of the episode. Well I don't think they could have done anything better. Because of the way the episode works. But it just. It wasn't the best. Because it felt very. M. Night shyamalan -y, Where it's like. You know, the, the whole thing is, uh, main character sort of awakens a demon, and the demon is like, you need to kill three people, or the world is going to end. And I thought it was either going to be the demon lied about the end of the world, or the demon isn't real. She She's doing this, like, on her own, and she's just imagining there being a demon. Gotta go.